Hello everybody and welcome back to Factory Town where today I'm going to make a few a few quite big changes I think to the way that my foresters are working and also some big changes to the way my farms are working because at the moment I don't have these farm tiles at all um, and I'm thinking that it would be a good idea to have that but I think that these, these guys are going to need a bit more room so if you have a quick look at uh, the actual farm buildings themselves, sorry, the farm tiles. I've got these farm tiles, right? And you can see how they, how they would go around my farms, but they don't really have room to fully go around the farms. Uh, they, I think I do need a bit more space for them. So what I want to do I think I could probably keep the farm here. But I possibly want to put another farm somewhere else with a bit more space. And uh, what I might do is change the terrain a bit. I've actually given me this idea, by the way. Change the terrain a bit so that I can actually kind of fit them in. So it seems to me like having a farm maybe around here, get rid of this herb patch would be a good idea and try and get as many farm tiles around it as possible. So that's something I'm going to try and build today and then I may delete some of the farms that I've already got. And then we'll hopefully be able to make way more bread. Yay! Oh, there's way too many people supplying firewood to this place as well. Never mind. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try and um, build a farm, I think around about here. And I'm going to try and get it to be as efficient as possible. So, farm. I'm possibly even going to um, right. So at the moment, um, this isn't supplied by water. I believe I can change that. So I'm going to pop the farm here. And then I'm going to work on um, kind of deleting a load of the stuff around it so I can put farm tiles down. So I'll put as many as I can. I'm just going to have a quick look and make sure I put it in the right place firstly. So that I can have farm tiles all the way around. Oh, okay, it looks like maybe the kitchen needs to possibly move a bit. That farm could go back one, I think, actually. So I'm going to delete it and I'm going to move it back one or two tiles. So just trying to, to place it in the right place, you see. So build, building, farm, get it in the exact right place and we should be able to make it really efficient. I will have to remove quite a lot of tiles though to get this to work, so hopefully it will be really good though, fingers crossed. Farm tiles, so they can go all over the place. I'm also going to possibly like delete these two farms as well, just so I can properly see where things are going. I'm hoping that this farm will be big enough and to supply both grain mills. Possibly not, we'll see. Might need two farms, we'll have to see. Uh, so blocks, I want my farm tiles. I'm just gonna pop them everywhere I can, all the way to the edge. I'm gonna need to move those out of the way as well, eventually fine for now so it's going to go all the way around here all the way back to here all around here as well and then I'm going to make a little channel of water going in as well so you can start to see how this is going to work and it's going to I don't know if I'm going to need to I don't know if shoots can go over the farm tiles I'm going to have to see how that works I may have to delete them. Right, yeah, I can delete them if I want though. So hopefully this farm will be really, really awesome. So then what I need to do is to try and lower the terrain a bit. 
um, so that I can get a channel of water up to the back of the farm. Uh, okay, so block. Aha, so right click on block, depresses it. Now, is that enough for it to be. Let's go off my cursor there. Oh, yeah, it, that's enough for it to be completely done with water. It's at 270% speed, so this is already the same as my previous. Well, it's already better than my previous two farms were on their own. Okay. So now I need to just connect this up to some shoots so that we do actually have some grain being made and stuff. But that's great. That's only one worker in there as well. I could up the workers too. Okay, so let's see if the shoot will go over there. That's an occupied tile. Okay. So it seems like if I want to have a shoot coming out, I have to give it a little path. So I'm gonna have to get rid of some of the farm tiles to allow the shoot to go past. So I think what I'll do is just get rid of like, um, those four is probably gonna be the best. And I possibly might need to move the kitchen over a little bit, we'll see. I shouldn't need to, but it's gonna make it very difficult for these guys to get around and, and stuff if I don't. Not that they really need to go, they can just go back and forward there and they can run, run away that way if they need to. I do need to make some more room though. The more room, the more farm tiles, the more efficient this is gonna be. So I want to go back to my farm tile little block there and remove, now I know, remove these four to allow for a shoot. And then we'll work on removing all the stuff around it as well, all the herbs over there and all that sort of thing. Because the farms can be used to make herbs. If I need to, I'll make a herb farm. Shoot. Just have it on auto for now and then I'll change it to precise. Avak was asking me about this earlier. It's like, oh, these this shoot's going all the wrong way. I'm like, yeah, yeah, just build, just use precise. I do not trust auto. Auto will do whatever it thinks is right rather than what is right. But you do need to be in auto to delete the shoot, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, so that should be good. Uh, so we'll just go into these shoots here. Go into precise mode again, get that there, get that there. So hopefully they should. Now we might have that same problem we had before. We're basic, but it does look like the farm is producing enough grain that it will back up and go into the second grain mill. So I don't think we should have such a problem as we have with the foresters. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, you're supposed to be taking bread places. Okay, so we have a spare wagon basically. They're supposed to be taking flower places, but we actually only need bread now. I do need to work on making a proper road that goes round to the back of the kitchen so that the carts have a good place to go. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of messing around over there with terrain. Okay, what can that what can that wagon do? I know. You can take cloth the market oh no we've already got something taking cloth in the market rats um I, I don't know what it can do there we'll find something for it later i'm sure okay but in the meantime i want to get some terrain um taken away in order to allow me to put down more farm tiles so i'm going to basically take away a lot of this stone i'll find stone elsewhere there are too many resources on these maps to start with. Take away that grain and take away these herbs. That should allow me to increase the efficiency of this farm. Off my cursor. Right, so the kitchen, how's that doing for bread? It needs two flour per bread. 
And I think we're going to eventually need another setup like this for um, remedies. I'm also thinking that I do need more farm tiles around this farm. I could definitely get rid of some of these trees and get some farm tiles around there, which would increase my animal production. Or I could move the farm so it's a bit further away, give it a bit of space, build it a channel again like I did before. Now I know a bit more about terraforming and really, really ramp up the production of the wool and the fertilizer and everything like that. I think that would be really good. Okay, so... I'm just going to see how well I've done there. I might need to take a bit more away. Not too much more, actually. Let's see how efficient this is. Oh, I ran out of resources. That's looking pretty good, actually. I could get rid of a couple more trees. But we're not doing too badly. And that is now at 345% speed. Look at it go. Look at it go. Look at the kitchen go as well. So the kitchen could have probably one more setup of this going in, but to be honest, it's looking pretty good. The wagon's full of bread, that's good. We are struggling for food a little bit in some of the houses, um, but I think that was probably because I was still working on all of this. That bread is getting worked on really well, so I, I do think... Do you think a path uh, to help that little poor little wagon? Look at him go. He's trying his hardest. He's like, oh, help me. So I will help you, little wagon. I will help you. I'm going to put a nice little path around. Um, I'm thinking, again, I'm going to remove resource on this little bit of stone over here. So I can have a nice straight path because I want to build as the Romans built. Straight. I'm going to need to remove these herbs as well. So we should now be able to build a nice little path. Oh, yeah, and I know I don't build very tightly. But I kind of like it that way. We have way too many workers here like doing the firewood i know this but i don't really care right now i'm just gonna i sometimes feel like there's just too much to do okay so we're gonna put proper road down here at least one little path of road and then as i say i'll probably double it up once i have a bit more stone how much stone do i have 160 could start doubling it up a bit. To be honest, the best place to double it up is going to be where there's a lot of carts going past each other, like here. Like, that's the reason why I've got that all going. Probably along here would be the next place to do it, because we've got a lot of carts going from the base to the market. And after that, probably along here. And actually, it could probably do with having this made a little bit nicer as well. So yeah, they've got nice big stone roads to go on, which I'm really happy about. Um, these are not working so well still. <laughs> still. I will be able to do something with forestry tiles, and I think that might help them a little bit. Because at the moment, they've got a 0% bonus. And you can see how well the farm is doing. Do you not well enough? I think it needs to do better. I wonder if I could put another worker in. Put 
put more workers in until it's properly delivering to both mills. I really want that that mill having downtime if possible. I'll try and get some more um, farm tiles in as well because there are there are more that can go down. Everything efficient. You can put them in the water. <laughs> I like that. I wonder if they're actually doing anything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have them there anyway. Just in case. Um, what are we doing now? So more terrain modification. Remove that tree. And I think that's the last tile I need. These farms are very big. But I could get a channel down there into another farm over in this direction if I wanted more farms. How's this one doing now? This one's constantly producing. This one's a little slower, but you know, it's fine. I don't think I I think that one far one grain mill would not be enough for the speed that that farm is coming out at, so I think that's okay. Every one of those is an extra one, and also the kitchen can't keep up. I've just realized this. I could put another worker in the kitchen. Try and make that a bit more efficient. Kitchen full. Oh, the kitchen's full as well. The carts can't keep up. Okay, so I need either a barn or another cart doing kitchen runs. Got any bar any carts doing nothing? There was a cart doing nothing a while back. I'm sure there was. If not, I will produce another cart. Those guys are doing nothing. I need to work on that a lot, but this is really good. This is really good. We're gonna have so much food for everyone. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. Um, new cart, definitely a new cart. So you, new cart, get to take bread. You've got to take it all the way to this market. Full of bread soon. If the market gets full of bread, it's fine. I could put a silo down, maybe. Have a guy just taking it to the silo as well. But no, it looks to me like they are taking the bread away in time now. I made this all really super um, efficient, and now we don't have enough carts. <laughs> they're gonna take most of that away now so yeah yeah they're getting on top of it definitely uh, but as I say we'll probably fill the market up very soon 
Okay, now I would like to upgrade some of these with cloth, but I don't really have much cloth. What's going on with the cloth? Nothing's going on with cloth. Okay. So, dude, you're taking wool to that. All right, okay, we've got workers over here that are not needed. So, I'm going to take you. I'm going to get you. Your job now is going to be to take cloth back to the base. Because it's not got very far to run with it, I think having just workers there should be fine. I'm gonna run like two tiles. Here he comes, along the road. Come on. Don't have time to stop everywhere. So I'm quite liking this. I've got my little farm area, I've got my little woodworking area. But I do think the conveyor belts and things um, that are a bit more intelligent about the way they disperse the... Um, maybe they go a little faster as well and they're a bit more intelligent about the way they disperse all of the goods will be really good for this particular setup. I would love to have this all, re all the shoots replaced with maybe cloth conveyors or something and see if they work a bit better. I don't know if I'm going to have to set up some kind of electricity grid. It's going to be interesting. Right, so now we have cloth. We do, that's great. So we can use that to upgrade houses to level three. Good. So level four is going to be a remedy. I don't need that many people though, so we'll, we'll keep a, a halt on that for now. else am I going to want to do? So what new buildings have I got? I've done, I've used the kitchen uh, to great effect to make bread and that seems to be keeping everybody really well fed, making me lots of money, which is amazing because it's good for terraforming. So I'm really super happy with that particular thing. Um, I really want to terraform this area. I don't know why. I just, it just annoys me that it's all like bumpy. I'm terrible. I just want everything to be flat. How much better does that look? So much better. I mean, I quite like this because it's got the whole like going down the hill thing going on. I, you know, I enjoy that. That's good. Oops. Can I control Z? No, I cannot control Z. Oh well, never mind. I always right click to try and clear my cursor. It's, it's a bad habit I've picked up from other games. Now, apparently there is also some tiles that I can build around these um, these foresters. And I didn't realize this, that there was a forestry tile, tree planting tile. So we can put all trees around here and make this much, uh, much better. I mean, I, we can definitely put loads of trees along the front, around the back here. So I'm just going to do that as much as I can. I'm just going to surround them with trees and see how that affects them. Oh, I need more fertilizer. Good grief. So how have we done with that? Then that's now 30% extra. The amount that we've, the amount of foresters we've got, I don't really want to change that. I'm just going to like knock down a bunch of trees and just put down as many of these tree tiles around what we've already got as possible and just see how that increases the, uh, the output. I'm not going to be all like, particular like I am with the farm. I mean the farm we really did get it to be amazing but I don't know. So why do we not have enough fertilizer? Is that because we've been using quite a lot of it on all these farm tiles? It probably is. 134 wool. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the fertilizer. Um, and unfortunately, this farm is in a really bad place. So I'm thinking what I might do around here is to get a better farm going so that we can get better animal feed going so we can get more wool and more fertilizer, which is gonna be amazing. So the way I'm gonna do that is to remove a lot of these trees from around here. So we're gonna make ourselves a nice big flat area to put a nice big flat farm. So 
this is so much money to terraform things that I don't really need to terraform. There. So I probably want to flatten this area out a little bit as well. If I have any money left. all nice and flat okay so we've definitely got room for a nice big old farm um and again we need to build a little like a little channel in there so if i put the farm down first so i'm just going to put it down oh yeah you can see so if i put it there i can completely get it or even here i can get it completely surrounded with field tiles now, one thing I noticed is that it's showing the edge of the, the thing is... I wonder if the fields go out to the edge of the water, whether that will allow, allow it to be counted as being close to water. That's an interesting thing to check, isn't it? Let me check this. So if I put a farm tile out to the, to the water here, for example there, and I connect that up to the farm, does that mean that the farm has water? I don't think so. Okay, let's try building some more. Quite a full science these things, haven't you? run out of fertilizer there now but no there is no water going to it there so that's fine um, so what I'm gonna need again is another kind of another channel going through I don't know I wish I knew whether those worked 500% speed this is going at now incredible if I could get that working for my pastures that would be amazing also I've got loads more room for pastures now I could put more in if I wanted I flattened all that area out okay so I'm gonna need a channel can't make a channel with those farm tiles there oh man stop it so I'm gonna have to remove them what a pain in the bum and I'm gonna have to remember that I need um, to leave space for shoot as well stop it. keep trying to right click to clear my cursor I am never gonna get out of that habit because it's it's so integral to other games but this game particularly has a very uh, interesting control scheme. And I think it needs to be that way, to be honest, like thinking about it. So if I go to the farm tiles, delete those ones. And I think I've got enough fertilizer to put more in now as well. Um, so we're going to have... Yeah, because the channel affects those tiles around it, so that's why it won't let me terraform. Which is another question I had, so... Okay, is that enough to say that there's water there? Yes, it is. So it's already working on getting some grain. So we need a shoot to go out, and then I'll work on adding more and more and more farm tiles and workers until we have a really good balance with these um, pastures. Auto shoot for a bit and then I think we're going to need precise shoots. I mean there's no need to delete that other farm, it's helping, it's just like not very efficient. I suppose I'd save a worker by not having it there. Okay, 
do. So while I wait for... This is good because there's way more stuff going, way more animal feed coming down. You can see that's happening way quicker now. Very good. I'm going to put more workers into the farm because I've got them. I may as well. So we're at 170% speed. And let's see how many more uh, blocks I can put in. By putting the farm tiles and things onto this one first, it'll allow me to have like make more fertilizer so I can more quickly put in farm tiles in future. Two hundred percent now, so we've basically got three farms worth of animal feed coming out now. So it seems to be working on this pasture very well, but it's not backing up to these pastures so quickly. Oh, someone's outside my door. Is it Avak or is it Tilly? I don't know. I think Avak would have spoken by now, so it's probably Tilly. So there we go. So now I would like to kind of work out... Um, Buildings we have. We've so done the school, pasture, forester, barn, farm, forge, kitchen, silo, and well. So we've got everything now. I think we need to be checking on our research because I think our research is a little behind at the moment. So we've got machinery um, being started on, but I think that we're missing something that's needed. So let's have a quick look at the school and see how we're doing. We are actually very low on paper. Well, well, well. Probably because this lumber mill does not have a forester connected to it. So we're going to play around with that then for a second. So what I'm going to do here is put in a forester. I meant to do this ages ago. Don't know why I didn't. I was playing with other things. Okay, you can be there. That's fine. That forester will just stay there. And we'll just supply this with paper. It doesn't need to be particularly efficient. It doesn't need to be amazing or anything like that. All it's doing is going around here. Let's get a precise one on so I can go around the corner. Around the corner again. I may need to put scaffolds down the back. It might be fine though. seems to be working fine that's cool another thing that I can do to get rid of all these workers here uh, is to put a little forester in behind the forge which is directly supplying it with fuel that would be quite useful We've no really the forge hasn't been doing very much lately so put forester in behind there and that will be just to fuel it up boom just stick a shoot in Because then just for one person's worth of work, we can have it constantly filled up. Not really nicely, so put one shoot in there. Yeah, and that's filling that up with fuel nicely. Fantastic. So I just need people... Now, how's that doing? Stone mason has got loads of people working on it. This guy's doing nothing though. What's your job? Your job is to take... Oh, okay. Well, your job can now be taking iron ore to the forge. I need a thing that can produce stone on its own. It's stone and iron seem to be the things I'm manually producing at the moment. Okay, there's a whole bunch of people that are very confused around here. Because I've run out of wool? Yes, because I've run out of wool. However, that production cycle should start kicking in again once uh, the wool starts coming in from the um, upgraded pasture system that I've got over here. Right, so while I was doing that, hopefully some uh, manure was being made. Fingers crossed. Is the barn full again? 
Am I sitting here with a full barn? Yeah, I am. Right, I think I need another wagon that's taking wool. And everything over to the... Yeah. Okay, one more, one more wagon then. Okay, wagon. You take all that stuff to the base. Seems like the wagons only seem to be taking a load of stone. What are you doing? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 you're taking stone, that's fine. So, yeah, they've got room now. Great, everything is working over there as it should be. Which means that this should just sort itself out in a minute. Wood still isn't really being... Clear my cursor off. Wood still isn't really... It's not really doing what I was hoping it would do yet. Um, there is a difference between... Is there a difference between just trees that you plant? Like, do these have any kind of... Oh! Yes, they do. So this one is going at 348% because it's got trees all around it. Oh, ho, ho. So actually the tree tile is just planting trees. Interesting. So let's just get some trees all around here anyway. As many as I can. Fertilizer. The fertilizer, I think, should be getting made now. A little bit better. Uh, let's have a look. None in there. Loads of wool in there, but no fertilizer. So it's supposed to make one wool to one fertilizer, but I'm using the fertilizer way faster than I'm using the wool because I'm making so many farm tiles at the moment. We are going to really need to do something with all the wool. I don't know what we'll do with all the wool. Maybe I'll have to just upgrade all of these. And we've got cloth being made again. Fantastic. Let's have a quick look at the market, see how that's doing. It's pretty much full of everything it needs, which is great. We've got a thousand logs there, 1,600. So as much as we probably don't need as many lumber mills as we have, I, mean, I could turn them off. I could take the workers out of them. And you get the odd one from there. You get the odd one from there. But I could just be working on like one lumber mill. I could just break the chute. Honestly, there and just not have them working. But yeah, I'll just take the worker out of that one. That's fine. Eventually, hopefully, I'll have enough production of logs that it will use all of them. Although, why I need that much wood, I do not know. Like, I'm doing fine with, like, like a couple of grain mills. That's one thing I would probably learn for the next time, is that I don't need as many lumber mills as I think I do. 100%. So when we do have enough fertilizer, um, we could definitely be doing better over here. Fertilizer is something I really need at the moment, clearly. When I start making cloth conveyors, I'll start using wool a lot, I imagine. I imagine that's gonna be a big thing. at 270% so we'll be making the fertilizer even faster and um, once I've done this bit over here then I will be looking at putting a few more trees around here so I can plant my own trees but having having trying not to cut down the trees you've already got is really good because this one goes really really fast actually if I put another worker in there it would go really really fast too Forty-eight percent. 
Oh no, it doesn't seem to go any faster with extra workers, whereas it seems like the, uh, the, the farms really do. But that's cool. But yeah, I'll try and get as many trees in around here as possible. Around the fronts of here and, and around the back there. And that should hopefully increase the amount of um, wood that they're all producing. Like I say, I don't really want to do what I did with the farms and, and make it like so there's a massive space around them of trees. That is something I might do in a future playthrough, possibly. Or if I really did start struggling for like spaces for people, that's another thing I could do. But I do have all along here, I've got a few spaces for houses around here and also I can upgrade a lot of the houses up to level 3 with using cloth. So I don't think I really need it. But yeah, I'm just hurting for fertiliser a bit at the moment, that's the only thing. So how are we doing on the research side of things? So we've got this lumber mill, which is full of paper. We've got this school, which has no paper. We've got this little guy that's doing nothing. So how about you take paper to the school? And then the research will actually get going. It's hard because I've got to like constantly be focusing my attention in different places, but... I feel like it's doing okay. I like that I've got little production areas in different places. I've got a little wood production area, I've got my food production area, I've got my wool and manure production area, and then I've got my stone and iron production area. And yeah, I know it's quite a long way for some of the carts to go, but it just means I need to make a few more carts. As long as the barns aren't filling up too much, which they are kind of with wool at the moment. So I almost wonder whether I could do with another barn here. Or whether I could get this little stone truck here, this wagon, this wagon here that's taking the stone places to start putting the stone into that barn. That would probably help a bit, wouldn't it? He's got no stone to take, but that's fine. He just does it whenever, whenever there is. Just gets on with it. Okay, so you take the iron over there. I need to do I need to do a bit better with all that bit there. Everything else, I I feel like I've spent loads of time on it and I've made it really good. But I feel like the stone and metal working I haven't really done much with yet. So how are we doing for our research? So machinery still running out of paper all the time. Why does the lumber mill have no wood when it has a forester directly going into it? Something's going wrong or something's definitely going wrong there. Oh, it's just a bit slow. Okay. Okay. Maybe we could get some people helping out. I'm putting a bit of wood into the maybe one of these stone. Well, you know what? I could have another worker, couldn't I? But the problem I've got now is that there's no trees anywhere. So I could put down a worker and say, cut down these trees. Take them to the... Well, I suppose you could nip in there, take those over to the school, to the lumber mill. That would maybe work. Okay, dude, this is your job. You go th go from there, go all the way along the road, and take a bit of wood to the lumber mill and help out the forester. I'm 
I could also put more workers in the forester. I don't know if that would help. Doesn't seem to make it go any faster. Oh no, hang on, I know what I need to do to start with is to, I expect I've got loads of wood just in there that I could just take. So how about we just take that to the lumber mill? And some little dude just walking up and down the road doing that. Okay, that's fine. Could, could have used a cart for that maybe. Maybe I should. And the thing is, the thing that I I realise is that I've got. Wow, actually, that's that's backing right up again now. Maybe I don't even need as many workers in there as I've got. I could slow it down. Honestly, everyone's really well fed, so I think we're doing fine. The food production is doing fine, so I could do with just like using less workers for that and more for other things. I could put trees all around, around there. I, I could try. I don't know how much fertilizer I have now. I have one. Cause do these sheep never poo? Seriously. It's like it's only making wool. Hang on, I think we have a transport problem here. I can only see it taking wool. So when I've told you to take everything, are you taking everything? These are these are full of manure, and then I've got no manure, which is ridiculous. So take everything to the barn. Let's just keep an eye on this and make sure it's doing what it should be doing. No, they really aren't. They really aren't doing what they're meant to be doing. Which is frustrating. It's like, why won't you just take both? But fine. So I wonder whether I can get a wagon to go to all of these and then and pick up and then take... I don't really want to have a wagon for wool and a wagon for poop, but if I have to, I have to. Well, this wagon isn't really doing anything, so how about you go... Oh, everything's all messed up now, okay. How about you go and take all the manure over there?
See, the ideal is that I'm not like babysitting this all the time. So I'm what I'm guessing is gonna probably have to happen is I'm gonna have to have a cart for each of these because I think what's happening is I'm telling it to take both and it won't take a mixed load. And um, and that basically means that because it's not taking a mixed load, that everything is it, it comes back and it's like, oh wool is the priority. Take wool. Oh, there's more wool. Oh, there's more wool. Oh, there's more wool. Instead of, oh, there's wool. Oh, now the next thing that's got the most stuff there is fertilizer. So it's not very smart like that. It just takes whatever it thinks is a priority, which for it is wool. So it's almost like you need a, a wool one and a poop one. Okay, now, why don't you take poop from that one? Just. I'm just gonna get it to clear out the backlogs in each of the pastures. That pasture isn't doing anything yet at all because we, we haven't managed to get enough uh, production on this farm yet. Cause we all know poop. Ah oh, man, it's 50 minutes again. Each one of these is gonna be like a massive long one. I'm sorry about that. I don't know, you guys might really enjoy massive long factory towns, but I just, I'm just getting really into it and, and sorting out all the little problems and just making it all efficient and cool and just working on everything. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. Um, didn't really get very far as far as making new stuff this episode, but I do feel like I did a lot in getting things working properly and getting them more efficient and getting the farms all more efficient and, um, working on research, although I don't think the research is still quite working as it should be yet. Um, so we are going to have to look into that a little bit more too. But yeah, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do leave me a thumbs up below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.